Hi guys, so today we're going to be testing out the Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics Lip Tar Primer which I got in a birch box um, a little while ago. So I'm just going to kind of read the little blurb the birch box gave you. Um, Does your lipstick vanish an hour into the night? This innovative treatment preps lips for colour. Vitamin E plus hemp and peppermint oils soothe and hydrate to help keep lipstick looking great in place for longer. And the instructions are simply apply a small amount to your lips before putting on your lipstick. So the this is just the miniature size, by the way. The full size is uh, fifteen pounds for ten milliliters. Um, let me see. This is two point five milliliters. So you would get four times the amount in the full size. But I think this is actually a brilliant sample size, given how little of these products you actually need to use. I'll insert just now a kind of first impressions application section and then I'm going to be doing check-ins um, throughout my night and just let you know kind of how it's holding up comfort wise since it does say it's hydrating and also whether it's doing anything with the wear time. Okay so let's get this applied. Now I'm going to assume that this is like the normal lip tars in that you want to use the tiniest tiniest um, amount of it and I'm also only doing half of my lips with it so I'm going to try and get a nice teeny tiny that's probably too much because that's how much would probably cover my full mouth with a coloured one but let's see so I'm going to do my right side of my mouth with the primer Now that feels like next to nothing, um, incredibly light, in fact let's zoom you in just so you can see how little that shows up. So it's really quite thin, it's not got much of a gloss to it which is obviously good if it was really shiny your lipstick would slip back off. Um, it's got the same scent as the Ordinary Lip Tar if you've used them before because it does have the same peppermint oil. So lipstick wise I am actually going to use one of the um, Hello Kitty lippy sticks from Colourpop. Now part of the reason is that this boasts that it's also going to be soothing and hydrating as a base and while I like these, they do ever so slightly dry out my lips. So we're going to see how this applies and also uh, how comfortable it is throughout the night. I am doing filming this quite late, it's already 20 past 6, but I plan on staying up quite late tonight. So it'll work out, I'll get a proper test of it, I promise. So I'm going to do the unprimed side first. So that went on absolutely fine. And then I don't know if it's just me, but that looks a bit sheared out on the primed side. is just me. Fix my wonky cupid's bow. Now it still looks a tiny bit glossier on the prime side but we'll just need to live with that. Whoop. So, so far um, the non-prime side does actually feel a little bit drier. Um, as much as I love Colourpop, I do tend to feel that they are a bit of a dry-ish formula, even their glossy ones, which is a bit confusing. Because um, this is one of their creme finish lippy sticks. 
and the I think it's Konnichiwa um, it's called <laughs> I can't pronounce it um, but we will check back in and we will see how it goes Okay, so it is now 25 past 11 and I am back for a check-in. So from a distance I would say there looks to be zero difference to the two sides of my mouth but we're going to zoom in and get a closer look and have a bit more of a chat which will be creepy and I'm sorry. Um, so first off I have got a little bit of dryness. So. I don't know if you can see that texture there. This, as you may remember, is the primed side with the primer that's meant to help with moisture. So it's lost marks there straight off. In terms of wear, I don't know, if you look really, 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 really close up in, you know, in real life, it does look slightly less pigmented on this side. Uh, and I feel like the lip line area isn't quite as defined looking as is on the other side so to be honest if anything I feel like um, I'm gonna zoom out <laughs> Woo. if anything I kind of feel like this has actually had negative impact on the wear and also the condition of my lips so Mm. Um, I have had juice tonight but I've not eaten anything so I'm going to go and eat now um, so this has got a bit of a, a food test going on uh, and then we will come back and see if it's been of any assistance there but so far <laughs> okay so it's now half past 12 so that's now six hours since I put the lipstick and the primer on I have now eaten um, I don't think my lipstick's particularly badly faded, but I still definitely feel like this side, which was the prime side, has less pigment. Um, I'm just gonna... Hmm, let's do another zoom in, just so that you guys can form your own opinion, because that's... You know, that's why we do wear tests and don't just tell you. So, I just feel like there's a bit more... Like a gap there and worn away there. And again, it just looks less clean around the edges. And it's not drastically different. Um, world's slowest zoom. Um, but to me, that's also a point. It's not drastically different. And the only differences I'm seeing aren't positive. It's drier on this side and I feel like the pigmentation is not quite as strong and the lip line hasn't stayed quite as clean. So essentially for me this is an extra step at extra cost which is making my makeup not work as well. So that for me makes this an absolute definite goodbye so long product. Um, if you guys have got any questions about this or if you've used it and you've had a different experience Please leave it down below and you know we can all learn from that but personally from what I've seen tonight I, I, I'm not going to bother putting it on there's there's no point and you know I'm probably not going to finish up that sample and I definitely wouldn't be repurchasing it. Bye guys!